Hello. It's time to study exponents a little bit, and I'd like to start with some very basic information about exponents, get a little bit more complicated, and end with uh, some stuff that hopefully won't be too difficult, uh, but is a little bit more advanced uh, information about exponents. So let's start with the basics first. When you have a number written like this, uh, some vocabulary here, this big number on the bottom, that one is going to be our base. And this small number up at the top, that of course will be our exponent. So what does that mean exactly? What does 5 to the 4th power, which is how that said, what does that actually mean? Uh, a lot of times you'll be asked to write something like this in expanded form. In an expanded form, what this would mean is simply 5 times 5 times 5 times 5. 5 to the 4th power just means we're going to be multiplying 5 by itself 4 times. 5 times 5 times 5 times 5. So that's what it would mean in expanded form. And what if you're going to solve it? Well, you could do it a couple of ways. You could turn to your calculator and you could do 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 equals 625. I don't know if you can see that in the display there, but there's 625. So we could write that equals 625. So 5 to the 4th power equals 625. And there's also a shortcut on your calculator. Most scientific calculators, well, maybe I should even say all scientific calculators, uh, have a way of actually punching this in. There's a little exponent key. If you punch in 5 and hit this little thing that looks like an up arrow, it's on your calculator it's called the caret key. So if you hit that little caret key and then punch in a 4, so now it's 5 to the 4th power and hit equals and it says 625. So you can use that little shortcut to get the answer there as well. So 5 to the 4th power can be written in expanded form, 5 times 5 times 5 times 5, or if you're asked to just solve it, what does that equal? It's equal to 625. Let's try a different one. If we have another one here, 2 to the 5th power, if we're going to write that in expanded form, that would be equal to 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. How many twos do we have? It's two multiplied by itself five times. What does that equal? Again, I could punch that in my calculator like that, or if I'm going to just use my shortcut, I'm going to just punch in two raised to the fifth power equals 32. And you could probably have even done that one in your head as well. But I will write now my answer here, I'll write it down is 32. One thing that you have to be careful of, if the base is negative, negative 3 there, we know that this is going to be equal to negative 3 times negative 3. And we know that anytime you have a negative times a negative, it's going to give you a positive answer. So negative 3 times negative 3 should be a positive 9. You have to be careful though with your calculator. When you punch that into your calculator, if you just do negative 3 squared equals, it, hopefully you can see that, it says the answer in the calculator it gives you is a negative 9, when we know the answer should be a positive 9. So uh, what's really happening here is your calculator is doing some order of operation things, and it's doing the exponent first. It's doing 3 squared is 9, and then it's making it a negative. To get around that on your calculator, what you'll really want to do is you'll want to enter it like this. You want to enter it as it is shown here with parentheses around it. And that'll make sure that we're squaring the negative 3. So on my calculator now, I will just put in those parentheses, put in parentheses, negative 3, close the parentheses, and then I can hit the squared key or raise to the second power, and that is equal to... Now it gives me a positive 9. So be careful. If your base is negative, 
put those parentheses around that number before you use your exponent. Alright, next, solve a problem a little bit different. 4 to the x power equals 64, what's x? In this case, there are some different ways that you could go about this. I'm going to um, go about maybe a simpler way, which is just going to be um, kind of like a trial and error. So let's try this. How many times are we going to multiply 4 by itself to get 64? Well, let's just start with this. 4 times 4, does that equal 64? 4 times 4 is 16, so that's not 64 yet. So let's try another one. 4 times 4. Let's add another one in there. If you can't do that in your head, of course, you can turn to your calculator. And here I will punch in 4 times 4 times 4, and I can see that my answer is 64. So now I know that if we multiply 4 by itself three times, we will get uh, 64. So in this case, we know that 4 to the third power must equal 64. So what is x in this case? x must equal 3. Let's do the same thing with a number that's a little bit bigger. 6 to the x power equals 7,776. Well, let's just start at the beginning. 6 times 6. Six times six is equal to thirty-six. Not quite. So let's try another one. Times six again. Times six equals two sixteen. Not there yet. Times six again. Times six equals one thousand two hundred ninety-six. We're still not there. Times six again. 7,776, it looks like we're there. So we found our answer. So now the question is, how many times did we have to multiply 6 by itself? We had to do it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times. So 6 to the 5th power is equal to 7,776. So x must be 5. One more part. One more thing I would like to show you. What if now it's the base that we don't know? x squared equals 36. How can you get that answer? Well, remember what we want to do is we want to know what times itself equals 36. And on your calculator, you, that one is fairly easy. You can use your square root key if you can't already do that one in your head. But if we want to take the square root of 36, equals square root of 36 is equal to 6. How did I get that? On this calculator that I'm using, the square root symbol is right there above this x squared key. So to get it to do square root, I hit second, and then hit this key to get the square root symbol, and uh, took the square root of 36, and got my answer is 6. So in this case, x equals 6, because 6 times 6 is equal to 36. What if we have x to the third power equals 343? That one's going to be a little trickier. And for this one, what we're actually going to have to do is we're going to not square it. We can't take the square root of 343 because we want to know x times x times x equals 343. So we don't want the square root. What we want to do instead is we want to take what is called the cubed root of 343. And the good thing is, if you have a calculator like this one, your calculator will do that as well. And you just have to know how to use it. And what you will see is above this little key right here, this is called the caret key. Above this key, you probably can't see it, uh, but on my calculator, I have a little symbol that looks like this. So the square root symbol with a little x in the upper left hand corner. So all I need to do is make sure I hit a 3 first before I use this key. So I know that x will be a 3 and then I will get my answer. So let's punch that in. 
I'm going to hit, if I want to take the cubed root of 343, I'm going to hit second, and then I'll hit this key. Oops, see, I made a mistake already. I have to hit three first. Three first. I gotta make sure I do that because I'm taking the cubed root. So I'm gonna hit three first on my calculator. Sorry about the confusion. Now I'll hit second and this key right there. And now I can punch in 343. So I'm taking the cubed root of 343 equals 7. So in this case, x must equal 7. And the last one, x to the fourth power is equal to 81. So that's x times x times x times x is equal to 81. Can we take the square root of 81 to get this? No. Can we take the cubed root of 81? No. In this case, we are going to have to take the, maybe you guessed it, the fourth root of 81. And you will do that the exact same way on your calculator. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to punch in a 4, because we're taking the fourth root. I'm going to hit the key on my calculator that looks like this right there. So I have to second and hit this key. So now I have 4, and then it has x with the square root symbol. And I can punch in 81 equals so the fourth root of 81 is equal to 3. So x is equal to 3. So hopefully that helps. Uh, in this case here, 3 to the fourth power is equal to 81. Up here, this must have been, s I'm sorry, 7 to the third power is equal to 343. And that is how you would do problems like that. So we started with some of the basics. Then we got to things that were a little more complicated. I'm not sure if you'll have to know how to use your calculator for some of this, but it is kind of handy to know how to use that machine. So good luck and goodbye.